stronger than Christ. <laughs> you are not stronger than Christ. Get over here, brother. You are not stronger. No, you are not stronger than Christ. No, you are not stronger. <laughs> So we all know about Smile Dog, but have you guys heard of Smile Owl? Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Creepypastas are not real. Or are they? A young man wakes up in the middle of the night with a really bad taste in his mouth. But it wasn't like a bad breath taste. It was more like a very, very sweet taste. He went to the bathroom and brushed his teeth, but it didn't take away the taste. Then he noticed that there was a white substance on his tongue that wouldn't come off. No matter how much he brushed his tongue, the white substance just would not come off. He walked back into his bedroom, and when he looked out the window, he saw this. An all-white owl, staring at him. The young man and the owl locked gazes, and then the owl did something very strange. The owl smiled, and in its mouth were human teeth. After the man realized that the owl had human teeth, he started feeling a very strange sensation in his tongue. What happens next would change his life forever. Part 2 is on my page now. Before you get mad at me for doing a part 2, it's the only way my videos are making it on the For You page. Part 2 of Smile Owl After the man and the owl lock eyes, he realizes that the owl has human teeth in its mouth, and it's smiling at him. His tongue begins to hurt really bad. This wasn't like any normal hurt. This was an excruciating, otherworldly hurt. His tongue started throbbing and pulsating, and it began to swell up like a balloon. Meanwhile, the owl is just staring at him with a huge human smile on its face, just never looking away. The man's tongue is swelling up so bad that he's starting to have difficulty breathing. He does the only thing that he can think to do in that moment, and he goes into the kitchen and grabs a knife. He punctures his tongue, thinking that it will help with the swelling. It just makes everything worse. The pain is unbearable at this point, and the owl is still staring at him, smiling. So the man does the only thing that he can think of, and he cuts off his tongue. He tosses the tongue, and it lands in his bedroom. He hears a noise that sounds like wings flapping in his bedroom. He goes to look, and his tongue is gone. The owl is still outside, only this time he has a tongue in his mouth. What to you looks wrong with this picture? Before we get into this picture, I'm just gonna preface that the woman who took this, Eliza Sherman, she was not harmed, but this was possibly the riskiest photo that she may have ever taken. After repeatedly hearing her doorbell rung, she assumed that it was probably a prank, like kids or something who were in her apartment building. While this woman was texting her husband and describing what was happening, she sent this picture of what she thought was an empty hallway, saying that every time she opens the door, there's no one there. Except she was wrong. In the dark at the end of that hallway, was not a kid playing a prank. It was a man who had been ringing her bell. It's actually her husband who caught this, and he ends up calling it out. They call police, and they take the photo, and they digitally enhance it. But even with a clearer visual, whoever this was, they do not know. It could have been someone who lived in the apartment building. He could have been someone who broke into the apartment building. And as always, if you're loving Creep Time, make sure to go follow on Insta. Madeline Davis. According to reports, Davis had been at a party in a rich suburb east of Sydney when they decided to watch the sunrise from the cliffs, which also happened to be a popular selfie spot. According to Marine Rescue New South Wales, Davis and her friends split up when they got to the cliffs. BBC reports that signs were placed to warn people to stay away from the cliff edge, and the local mayor said the height of the fences in the area had been increased. It appears that Davis was attempting to take a selfie when she somehow fell off and was fatally injured. When everyone regrouped, Davis was nowhere to be found, so they called rescue services. Emergency crews responded to the scene around 6.30 a.m. local time. At this point, I'm sure everyone's aware of what happened at the University of Idaho this weekend. And there was just another press conference to give updates on this case, which I will share with you guys. But if you don't already know, these are the four students that were a part of a quadruple homicide this weekend near the University of Idaho campus. From what we know, these students succumbed to their injuries from a sharp-edged object, 
which is usually not the weapon we see in cases like this, so it's very bizarre. Students at the University of Idaho are terrified because there is no suspect in this case. They have no idea who did it, but they do believe it is a targeted attack. In the press conference is that they had received a call around 11 a.m. on Monday about an unconscious roommate, and that's the vocabulary that was used. The police also mentioned that there was two other roommates at the house when this happened who were unharmed. Right now, as the public, that's all we know. Police are telling the students at University of Idaho not to be scared, but they're obviously terrified. I know they do have escort services for students on that campus to be walked from point A to point B if they need it. And they also have some drop-in counseling sessions which are actively being utilized by students. And of course, if you have any information about what happened that night, I will put the tip line on the screen. Remember, in cases like this, no tip is too small. I will be continuing to post updates on this case as I become aware of them. And I just send my condolences to anyone who is affected by this. I absolutely cannot imagine the horror that is going on in that town right now. These are the most disturbing things found in food, part one. Okay, so everybody watching this video definitely had a Capri Sun. But after watching this video, you would definitely never have another one again. In 2016, a young boy told his dad that the juice wasn't coming out of the Capri Sun packet. So his dad then cut it open, and what they found inside will make you sick to your stomach. So next time you go and drink a Capri Sun, you might be drinking fungus instead of Capri Sun.